Hey guys, welcome back. So in the previous lesson, I asked you guys to collect at least 15 products and import it into Orbello. And I hope you've done that. I'm just finishing up editing my list, adding the title, went through the description, picked variants and images. And one thing that's important is to at least type in a type for your, for your products. And another important part of it is tags. So I like to tag my products and that will come in handy later when we're uh, creating collections. Collection in Shopify is a form of uh, categories and it will come in useful a lot later. Once you're done, go ahead and push all your products to your shop and it should be imported into Shopify as easy as that. So go back to your Shopify dashboard click preview website and you should be able to see your products here is one in the featured collection but if you go to catalog you should be able to see them all now we're going to go ahead and create a collection remember the tags that we made those are going to come into play now so go to all products or products click collection and create a new collection I'm going to name my collection featured, which will be placed on the home page. Uh, you can add a description and an image, and some themes that support this will show the information that you add there. So here we're going to add a condition. Here you could add conditions by title, tag, compare at price, weight, whatever. And I'm going to do product tag is equal to glitter. You could add another condition. Um, notice that I put down match any condition so anything in glitter or the neck glitter or unicorn will show up in featured and save it go ahead and make as many collections as you need I'm going to make another one and speed up the process I hope you get the idea so glitter cases uh, add a description if you want so I'm going to do product tag glitter is equal to glitter and save it and do as many as you want and as many as you need once you create a collection you can see all the products in that within that collection when you scroll down and then you could also have a default sort by so you could sort by best selling etc so if you go back to your navigation we could add it to your main menu. So delete the default navigation if you wish. And it's easy to add a collection. Once you're done with that, save the menu. And remember the uh, footer menu. Um, we're going to edit that now too. So if you go to pages, you could go ahead and create page by adding a page by selecting add page. I'm going to name this page contact us and we're going to create a contact page. Um, one thing you should do before saving the page is change the contact page template to page.contact and then save it. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a few more pages like shipping information and FAQ. Once you're done creating all your pages and you're happy, you can go back to the navigation, select for a menu and add it to your menu. So add pages and you could even edit the name of, of what's displayed on your menu. So I'm going to change shipping info to shipping information, for example, and just go ahead and add all the pages that you want to be displayed on footer. Save it when you're done. And now when you preview your website, you should have new navigation. Simple. If you scroll through your navigation, you should be able to see the products of the collection of whatever you clicked on. Now at the top bar, you'll see a little option that says customize theme. We're going to click that and we're going to start customizing the theme, adding some pictures and some glamour. So first things first, on the header you have options, two different logo options. You could choose whatever you want. You could you have an option to upload your a logo to and an option to 
add a announcement bar which for example i've just done one now free shipping when you spend 25 dollars or more use code free ship and you could even change the color i will show you how to create a discount code at the end of this video so remember the featured collection that we created um we're gonna do that now so we're gonna do that in the featured collection section if you go there you could rename it you could rename it whatever you want i will rename it popular choices and then select what collections to show within that section so now you could go back by clicking the uh, the arrow at the top don't press press the back on the browser and you could even delete sections that you don't want you could add the sections later and you could drag and rearrange them as you wish so here what I like about Shopify is that they have a a range of stock pictures that you could use for free and they're really professional so I'm going to just search up phone case and I'm going to use one of theirs for this for the sake of making this video quicker so there you go I'm happy with that and now you could choose how the picture is aligned whether it's in the middle the top whatever and you could change the heading and the the custom text and you could also change the uh, section height from medium large extra large small whatever you want so style up your phone case oh, that doesn't make sense does it style up your iphone with a phone case so i'm going to do extra large for this case as you see it shows more of the image now and you could even add a button if you wish so how about a button that says shop now and you could link that button to whatever page products or whatever you want so that's easy as that and there's a slideshow at the bottom you could rearrange these by the way you could put the slideshow wherever you want so again i'm going to just add the free images if you don't want to add the free images you could upload your own image you could upload anything you want the bottom you have options to add a section and you have a list of uh, different section templates that you could choose from for example newsletter and then you could edit and choose as you please and create your home page however you want it to look like one thing i recommend in the footer is to enable the newsletter sign up and if you want the uh, payment icons the newsletter sign up will show up on every page if it's on the footer and it will allow you your customers to sign up for newsletter a quick easy email capture and also another option is to display your social media so just type in the url of your social media account into the appropriate sections and it should come up as icons on your website like shown right now and you could use that to potentially connect with your your audience and when you're happy with your website don't forget to save it make sure you save it and then you should be on your way with a much better site than the skeleton that you had before to create a discount it's easy go to your dashboard click discounts on the sidebar create a discount and name the discount whatever the customer will type in for the discount to be valid now you could choose a percentage discount a fixed amount or free shipping was free shipping was in my case so this discount requires a minimum purchase you want to tick that and type in the minimum purchase amount for my for this example it's 25 dollars and then you could choose which countries it applies to and have a start date end date if you wish limit the customers how many times they could use it and then you could save the discount 
Now hopefully you've learned some of the basics of using Shopify and creating your own dropship, automated dropship store. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment below or you could find me at phonecasebusiness.com where I teach you more about different ways to create a phone case business, not only drop shipping, but also custom phone cases and things that you could really do from home and be profitable with. So thanks for watching and please do subscribe and let me know what I can improve on.